Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be multiplying and dividing fractions today. First off, just a quick overview, we will be multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, and then looking at multiplying mixed numbers. So with multiplying fractions, what you're basically going to do is multiply the top number times the top number, bottom number times bottom number. We call this the numerator times the numerator, that's the top numbers, and then the denominator times the denominator. So it'll look like this. If we had the fraction of 1 fourth times 3 fourths, I would have 1 times 3 on the top and 4 times 4 on the bottom, giving me a result of 3 over 16. If I needed to, I would reduce this to lowest terms, but I don't need to in this question. So that's just an example of multiplying fractions. It is the most straightforward thing we do with fractions. Top times top, bottom times bottom. So go ahead and take a look at that one. Try practicing with this question. Two-sevenths times three-fifths. When we're looking at that, hopefully you were able to solve that and see if you do it the same way that I did. Two times three on the top, seven times five on the bottom, giving us six over 35. That's it for multiplying fractions. You would still have to do all of the reducing fractions to lowest terms and um, changing it if it ends up being an improper fraction into a mixed number. Um, but for now, just focused on multiplying straight across. With dividing fractions, it's actually very simple as well. All you do is you multiply by the reciprocal. So let me explain what that means. Multiplying means we change our division symbol into a multiplication symbol, but we have to multiply times the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of the second fraction means we flip the fraction upside down. So instead of 3 over 1, we would have 1 over 3. So this becomes from 7 over 12 divided by 3 over 1, we then just solve it as 7 over 12 times 1 over 3. You just multiply by the reciprocal, just the same way we multiplied before, 7 times 1, 12 times 3, and we get 7 over 36. Here's a sample question that you can try out. Try doing this, change the division to multiplication, and flip the sep second fraction upside down. Get that reciprocal. Alright, so there I switched the multiplication, division symbol to multiplication. I'm going to flip this fraction upside down and rewrite the, the question. It becomes 3 over 5 times 3 over 2. I multiply the top times the top, bottom times the bottom, and I get 9 over 10 or 9 tenths as my answer for this question. The third thing we are going to talk about is multiplying mixed numbers. Now, this can get pretty tricky, so I want to um, explain it in, in broad terms. There are two ways that you can solve this. One is that you can multiply 4 times 3 over 1 and then 1 half times 3 over 1. Then you add together the results and simplify it. Or you can change 4 and a half into being an improper fraction and just multiply like normal and then simplify. Either way, you're going to be doing simplification. You're going to be converting between this mixed number and an improper fraction. And at the end, you're going to be converting from an improper fraction into a mixed number. So you need to know how to do that, converting between improper fraction and mixed number back and forth, and how to simplify fractions to be able to do this. It's a little bit more complicated than just regular multiplying. For this exercise, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use the second method. I'm going to change 4 and a half into an improper fraction. To do that, I take my denominator of 2, I multiply it times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and I add 1. That gives me my new fraction of 9 over 2. So I converted this from a mixed number into an improper fraction. Now I'm going to multiply like normal. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 1 is 2. Notice I did that just like all the other multiplication questions we did today. Numerator times numerator. Denominator times denominator. I just didn't write that step in. 
okay? And as you get more comfortable with it, you probably won't write in that step either. Now, I also have to take this and convert this number, 27 over 2, from an improper fraction into the mixed number of 13 and 1 half. If you need a review on converting from mixed numbers into improper fractions or improper fractions into mixed numbers, um, please watch the video that's dedicated just to that topic. For this video, it, I'm just assuming that you know how to do that, um, or you can go ahead and review using the other video. All right. So just a quick recap, we multiplied fractions, we divided fractions, and then we did one question where we multiplied mixed numbers. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.